Hello everyone, welcome back to American Textbook Reading Series. I'm Brian Stewart. We're looking at Social Studies Book 3, Lesson 5 for this lesson today. And in Lesson 5 is about voting for leaders. Voting for leaders. You will discover in this unit how to vote and what citizens and leaders should do. So this is part of the democratic process is what we will be taking a look at today. Okay, so as usual, let's start with the vocabulary. First we have lead. <laughs> this guy looks very happy, right? He's leading the people behind him. He's showing others the way. Leaders have ideas about which way to go, how to solve problems usually. Which way should we go? Should we solve the problem this way? Should we go this way? Or should we go this way? Leaders choose the way and show people, let's go this way. And they lead the other people in that way to solve the problem or to do something that is good. Next, sign up. Sign up. When you sign up, it means you volunteer or you agree to be a member of a group by writing your name. If there's a club at your school, like let's say there's a book club, a group of students get together and read books and talk about them. Well, if you want to join them, you probably have to sign up. In other words, they have a form, a membership form, a membership form, membership form. A form is a very common word, form, that's an O, form. A form is a piece of paper with uh, parts printed like name, and then you fill in your name. You fill in a form, fill in. Okay, I'm giving you a lot of words, sorry about that. But, but you fill in the form, you sign up for a group. You sign up for uh, a club or a team or some other group by writing your name on the form. Okay, next we have run for office. Run for office. This is a little bit of an old picture, but I, I recognize him right away, John McCain. He ran for president in 2008. Uh, so he ran for president. He tried to be president. He didn't make it. He wasn't voted as a president, but he ran for president. So when people say they're going to run for office, it doesn't mean they're actually running. It means they're going to try to be elected as a public official. And they run for office. They try to get people to vote for them. The person with the most votes wins the election. So the winners and the losers both run for office. So they all run for office, but only uh, a certain number of people can be elected to office. Elected to office. Okay, disagree. If you disagree with someone, you have a different opinion about something than they do. We have two women here. The one on the uh, left side says, yes, I agree. But the woman on the right side says, no, I don't agree. So they disagree, right? If you say no about something and somebody says yes, they disagree with you, right? Okay, so to disagree, dis, by the way, this is easy to remember, dis, is a prefix, it means not. So very simply, not agree. You do not agree. Dis means not. Okay. Resolve. Resolve. Remember in a previous lesson, we learned solve, right? Um, so solve is to find a solution to a problem or to solve a problem right? But resolve means to find a way to solve a problem when it is in disagreement. So some people think we should do this, but other people think we should do this to solve a problem. You resolve the problem is you find a way to make everybody agree or everybody happy in a type of situation. When two groups or two or three or it could be four or five, it could be many groups don't agree, 
and you resolve the situation means you try to find a solution that is acceptable to all the groups who previously disagreed. Again, they still might disagree, but at least if you resolve the situation, you find a solution that makes them satisfied, that satisfies all people involved in the disagreement. Okay. Conflict. Conflict is a disagreement about something. When people are in conflict, they do not agree and they might argue. Hopefully, they don't fight. Conflict can also mean fight. So, for example, in the Middle East, we hear of many conflicts and that's when, you know, not just countries but groups within countries are fighting, actually fighting with each other. We say this area is under conflict. But conflict can also mean just arguing, speaking, and that's that's a better type of conflict, of course. So conflict means a disagreement about something. Okay, those are our words for this lesson. Okay, now let's take a look at some more ideas where we can use these words. Okay, the first idea we're going to take a look at is how to vote. So if you live in a democratic society, and of course you probably do if you're watching this, I hope so, most people in the world do, and I hope Everyone in the world one day will live in a democratic society where they are able to vote for their leaders. How to vote. But how do you vote, right? I mean, you're young now, so you don't have to worry about this. But when you get older, make sure you vote, okay? You want to choose your leaders. So how to vote. First, what should you do? Fill out a form. Remember before I said fill out and I told you what form is? So you fill out a form. It means you put your information on the form, right? You fill out a form and you send it to the election office. This means you are signing up to vote. You can't just go and vote. You show up. They don't know who you are. So before you go there, you have to let them know, this is who I am. This is where I live. I'm a real person. I'm not a fake person. I'm actually who I say I am. You need to sign up before you go and vote. And you fill out a form, send it to the election office so they know who you are when you come. Next, you should read newspaper articles. Read as much as you can about the people who are running for office. Watch debates on TV. Oh, I'm skipping, I'm skipping ahead. Uh, so first, well, it doesn't matter. You can do these all at the same time. But read newspaper articles. Talk to people in your neighborhood. Talk to your neighbors. Talk to your friends. Who do you like? Why? Not just who do you like, but why is a very important. Right? Don't just vote for somebody because your best friend likes them. Ask your best friend, why do you like them? And if they have a good argument, maybe you will also agree with them. Get information, make decisions, that's important, right? So you talk to neighbors, you watch debates on TV. Usually the people running for office, they will have a debate on television, right? It's not just two, it could be many people, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? It could be many uh, people running for office. I want to teach you another word. Candidate. A candidate is a person who runs for office. So the candidates will have a debate on television. Watch it. See who makes the best argument. See who you agree with. Search for information on the internet. Yes, the internet is a great place to get information, but be careful of the places you go on the internet. Make sure the source of that information is trusted and is a good source because unfortunately you can get a lot of bad information on the internet as well. So look for large organizations, organizations that have a good reputation, and then you can trust the source of that information. After you get all this information, you're getting information. You're getting information from newspapers, from television, from your neighbors, from the internet. Get all this information and then make a decision in your brain, right? Make your own decision. Then, when you've made your decision, you can go to the election office or the election booth and you can mark your choices on a piece of paper called a ballot. A ballot. What is a ballot? A ballot is another type of form, and the form will have the names of the people, the candidates who are running for office. And you will check or you will mark, uh, make a mark 
next to the name of the person you want to vote for. Okay, and that is voting. That is vote to vote. When you mark the choices on a piece of paper, you're voting. And then, like this man here, you put your piece of paper in the box. It's a secure box, right? Only officials can open the box, and they count those votes, and they count your vote, and your vote your vote is counted. So make sure that your vote is counted. If you don't vote, they will not count your vote. But so make sure that you vote so that your vote is counted. That's an important thing to do in a democratic society. Okay, good. The next idea is what citizens and leaders have to do. Well, of course, a democracy is a team effort, right? It's not just the leaders. But the citizens have to support their leaders. So citizens have to trust leaders, and they keep telling leaders what they want for the community. As a voter, as a citizen, you should tell your leader what you want them to do, right? And hopefully they will do it. If they don't do it, they lose the next election. They're kicked out. Okay. Leaders, what should they do? They have to resolve conflicts between citizens, and they have to keep listening to them. If they don't listen to their to their uh, citizens, again, they get kicked out of office in the next election. Okay, so it's a teamwork. Citizens and leaders should work together. Okay, good. Let's take a look at the reading. Okay, let's do the reading together. And as always, you can read along with me, read silently in your head or out loud, practice pronunciation, and focus on the words that we learned in the vocabulary section. You ready? Here we go. Choosing a leader is important to every society. A leader makes decisions for all citizens. It is the job of the leader to lead people to a better future. So a leader leads people. Okay, next. If a person feels they will be a good leader, they can sign up to run for office. If you think you're, you could be a good leader, you should sign up to run for office when you get older. Great. Okay, next. To make sure a good leader is chosen, citizens get information about people who want to become a leader from newspapers, TV, the internet, etc. Okay, etc. Don't say etz. <laughs> Okay, etc. means and so on and so forth, etc. Okay. Then the citizens make decisions and vote for the person they want to lead them. People sometimes disagree about the leader they want, and voting is a good way to solve such disagreements. People in the community should trust the leader. A good leader should be able to resolve conflicts between community members and keep order so that everyone is happy. Keep order, make sure that everybody obeys the rules, that people don't disrespect each other or their society and just do what they want without thinking about other people. So, as we can see, people have responsibilities, citizens have responsibilities, leaders have responsibilities. It's teamwork in order to make a good democracy work. Okay, that's our reading. Let's take a look at how it is organized. Okay, so the idea of this reading passage is to think about sequence. Sequence means what comes first, next, next, and next. So first, second, third, fourth. What is the sequence of events? If you want to run for office, you want to be mayor or president or a senator, um, you might 
want, you might think, okay, well, how do I do that? What is the sequence of events to do that? Let's go through them. So first of all, first, of course, the person has to decide to become a leader. If a person feels they will be a good leader, they can beep to beep office. Oh, many beeps. Okay. So, so first of all, what do they do? So you think, I want to be a good leader. So what should you do first? Well, you should, right, put your name down on a form, fill out a form. And what we call that in the vocabulary was to sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Now here we have sign up too, right? But you can also say sign up for. When you say sign up for, you usually have a noun here. So you sign up for a team, sign up for a club. But in this case, we have two, right? So in this case, we need to say uh, to do something. Sign up to play soccer. Sign up to uh, debate on your school's debate team, right? So we need a verb here. They can sign up to beep office. Now remember, when somebody tries to get elected, what do we call that? We say they are running for office. To run, R-U-N, run for, two words, run for office. Remember, it doesn't mean they're actually running, right? It means that they're trying to get elected. So sign up to run for office. Okay, so that's the thing. So they do that first. And then citizens get information about leaders or candidates Maybe they're not leaders yet, but the candidates to beep, a good leader is chosen. So you want to what? You want it from the reading. It's not a vocabulary word, but from the reading, it said to make sure to make sure. Yep. So citizens get information about leaders to make sure a good leader is chosen. Chosen. Sorry. Chosen. Not chosen. Chosen. Choice choose chosen well so choose chose chose Whew. okay so choose chose chose many students get that mixed up right they say choosen or they mispronounce it so chosen make sure someone good is chosen what did you choose okay so uh, make sure a good leader is chosen make sure means to ensure or or to be correct, right? To make a good decision. You want to make sure it's correct. Okay, so make sure a good leader is chosen. Make sure that's the right person for the job. Now, citizens make decisions, right? So you make a decision, and then after you made your decision, you need to go to the uh, place and where you fill out your ballot and put it in the box. And what do we call that? Citizens make decisions and vote vote for. Actually, remember these two words together. Who did you vote for? Vote for. These two words are usually together, right? I will vote for McCain. I will vote for Obama, right? Who did you vote for, okay? Uh, and vote for the person they want. Who is the person you want? You will vote for that person. Vote for somebody. Okay, well, that's our lesson today. It's kind of interesting. It's about the voting process. Uh, you don't have to worry about it now, but in a few years, you will be able to vote, right? You have to be a certain age and make sure that you vote. You want to have your voice heard. You want you to have your vote counted. You want your uh, decision to be made and you want to make sure it's a good one. So make sure that you get a lot of information, make your decision, and then go and vote because it's part of being a citizen in a democratic society. All right. Good job, everybody. Thanks for studying with me. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.